Hey guys, everything new on the sun. Quick little update. This is breaking news. Stephen Hawking has died at 76. This is pretty significant because he's kind of a world leading uh, famous physicist. And obviously he does not believe in God. Stephen Hawking de uh, dead at 76. Stephen Hawking, a famed theoretical physicist who defied a diagnosis of uh, amyotrophic uh, lateral sclerosis to live virtually his entire adult life with the disease in a wheelchair and paralyzed, but making constant contributions to a world few could understand, has died at the age 76. <clears throat> um, and I want to read a quote that he says here, but just a, a bit more here. Although Hawking may have been incapacitated physically, he managed to write books, including the bestseller, A Brief History of Time. He was not modest about what he wanted to do. My goal is simple. It is, uh, it is a complete understanding of the universe. Why it is a, it as it, why it is as it is, why it is, exists at all. <clears throat> and, uh, Hawking reached his eighth decade, but was forced to miss uh, a scientific debate to mark his 70th uh, birthday in uh, 2012 because he was discharged from hospital only two days uh, earlier. There is him, there is uh, he with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He made an interesting comment, though, or at least uh, there's interesting, where, where is the interesting comment there? A quote he made <clears throat> about the afterlife. After all, if I were going to die anyways, it might be as well to do some good, but I didn't die. In fact, although there was a cloud hanging over my future, I found to my surprise that I was enjoying life in the present more than before. But he wrote a, a quote about um, the fantasy. Where is this? Where is this quote? Here it is here. He took a jab at religion, and this is, uh, I think he's... Thinking something else now, I think he knows the truth now. He has met his maker, He, but he said while he was still alive, I regard the brain as a computer, which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers. This is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. And I want to read some scriptures here. Like I say, I, he knows now what eternity is. He has uh, been ushered into eternity, and now he uh, is faced with the truth, with reality. This is from BibleGateway.com. And it's from the King James Version. 2 Peter 3, 5 says, For this they are willingly ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were created, uh, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Let me go to the, uh, the full scripture here. 2 Peter 3, uh, 5. <clears throat> And so verse goes, uh, verse six goes on, whereby the world uh, that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And uh, I, you know, uh, we all hope that he um, had a deathbed confession and, and and came to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, but uh, if he did not, uh, then he is destined for judgment and perdition for ungodly men because he would have uh, left this world as an ungodly man, someone who didn't believe. He thought it was a fairy tale to believe in uh, God. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as, as some man, men count slackness, but is long suffering and he was long suffering toward um, <clears throat> Stephen Hawking who basically came out and uh, and and made fun of Christians made fun of God uh, saying that it's for people who are afraid of the dark and and he was so sure based on his and he's a very smart man but again going back to verse 5 um, they are willingly ignorant. Now, this passage mainly is about um, his second coming, but I think it relates to pretty much everything. Um, verse 4 says, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they are willingly ignorant, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Uh, people, humans, are ignorant. Stephen Hawking <clears throat> was ignorant his whole life that God created the universe. He could not see it, although he was a brilliant physicist. Uh, he was clouded by his worldview, 
by his uh, faith that there was no God, by his belief that there was no God, and so he could not see the truth, uh, even with all the information, with all the observational uh, evidence and the data that he was uh, uh, um, collecting and consuming in his, uh, in his uh, papers and his books, etc. He simply could not see um, the God of the Bible there. He was willingly ignorant. And now he is willingly, uh, he is not ignorant anymore, although he may choose to uh, continue to deny Christ. Um, the uh, end result is that he knows his creator now and he knows what eternity is. So if he didn't have a deathbed confession, um, uh, well, you can't say God rests his soul because uh, God's not going to rest his soul if he didn't have a deathbed confession, if he doesn't recognize Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. So... Breaking news, Stephen Hawking dead at 67. How is this going to affect the world of physics? And uh, I, I'd be interested to be a fly on the wall uh, when he uh, met his maker. He's already met his maker. Uh, the, the, the moment, I was going to say second, but it's even shorter than a second. The moment he died, the moment his spirit left his body, he was uh, in front of and, uh, and at the, uh, uh, standing in front of uh, God. And God dealt with him, and uh, like I say, he knows exactly what eternity holds now. And uh, he is either uh, regretting his uh, lifelong decision, or maybe he is thanking God for uh, some deathbed confession, which is um, kind of what we hope that all people um, come to. But, uh, you know, given that he uh, spent, was it 67 years? 76 years on this planet denying God and making fun of God and slapping God in the face. Um, I just, uh, I wonder how true that, uh, what the possibility of that is. So, unfortunately, you know, condolences to the family. Um, but, and hopefully the family will come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Uh, um, they're, they may not see Stephen Hawking in heaven. And uh, that's certainly not my decision. Uh, and I certainly can't say uh, one way or another. Uh, but based on the way he lived his life, um, you have to, you have to expect um, um, that uh, he is uh, will be in eternity apart from God if that if the, his life showed uh, what he actually believed when at the point where he died. So, thanks for watching a significant event in the year 2018, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.